Okay, it's recording. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, in this video, we're gonna solve this problem: product of array except cell. Um, the this problem we see is medium. This is a medium problem, and a bunch of like. Um, in this problem, given an integer array nums, written an array answer says that answer i is equal to the product of all the elements of nums except nums i. Okay, this is the problem uh, statement. You can read it. Um, for example, if you're given this array of integers, you have to return um, an array of integers such that uh, we have product except self. So here at index 0, we'll have the product of the element except this element uh, at index 1. So product of 2, 3, and 4 is uh, 20, uh, 24, I think. 2 times 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Uh, okay, let's see. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 equals to 24. Now we have uh, these positions. Uh, in these positions at index 1, we should have the product of 1, 3, and 4, except 2. So 3 times 4 is 12. Now at this corresponding positions of 3, we should have product um, we should have product uh, of 4, 2, and 1. That is uh, 8. And at these positions, uh, at the corresponding positions, or at the last index, we will have product 3 times 2 times 1. So product of 3 times 2 times 1 equals to 6. So this is the array we should return if we are given this array. This is called the product except self array. We have to return this array. Uh, we, can, we can solve this problem pretty easily if we are allowed to use the division operator. Uh, in that case, if we multiply all of them, we will get 24 and we will iterate this array and we will divide um, by 1 this number 24 and we will insert that at this positions or at the corresponding positions that will have the answer. But in this problem, in the problem statement, we see that we're not allowed to, uh, we're not allowed a division operator. Okay, We cannot use division operator for this problem. Then how to solve this problem in linear time and in, um, and without using division operator. Okay, we can solve this problem without using division operator and in linear time um, using the concept of prefix and suffix. Okay, let's see how. So we're given this array. Okay, we're given this nums array. Now we're going to create um, a, a subarray, or sorry, I'm going to create two array, prefix product array and suffix product array. So let's see um, how they look like. So prefix, uh, prefix prod equals to, we'll have an array and we'll have suffix prod. We'll have uh, an array. So we'll have this two array. Using this two array, we can solve this problem pretty easily. Let's see how to populate um, uh, this two array. So at these positions, at the initial, uh, at the beginning position, we will insert one. Why we're inserting one? Because we want to find out at these positions the product of prefix of one. The product of prefix of one is nothing on the left, right? So we have here one as base sketch. Now let's move to this index. In this index, we see that we have two. The product of prefix of two is um, just one. So we'll insert here one. Now, at these positions, the product of prefix of three is two times one, that is uh, two. And here at this time, here at this point, uh, product of the prefix product of four is three times two times one, that is six. Okay, we populated this prefix product array. Now let's populate the suffix product array. So at these positions, we have the prefix product. Uh, at each positions, we have the value, uh, the product of prefix. Now we have to find out the product of suffix. So let's find out the product of suffix. So we have to move from right to left. Okay. So first, let's calculate the the product of suffix. So for one, there is no nothing on the right, so we'll have here just one. Now let's move here. At this point, we have to find out the uh, product of suffix. So product of suffix of three is four. We'll have the product here just four. Okay, now here at these positions, the suffix product of 2 is 3 times 4, that is 12. So let's insert here 12. Okay, 
now okay, let's format it so it's uh, okay so now uh, now let's move to the left here the product of this uh, the suffix product of one is uh, 24 so let's write it 24 here so we find out a uh, prefix product array and suffix product array now if we multiply the element at corresponding positions then we will find out the product except self so here at these positions the prefix product of one is one the suffix product is 24 if we multiply them we get 24 right now here for 2 the previous product of uh, 2 is 1 the suffix product of 2 is 12 so if we multiply this 2 1 times 12, 12 equals to 12 so we have product excess uh, we have product except self at this point so here um, we uh, here instead um, here we have 2 and 4 okay if we multiply this 2 then we will get 8 and here uh, if we multiply 1 and 6 then we will get 6 so this is the uh, this is the uh, product except self array. This is how we can solve this problem. Uh, here, instead of uh, creating two array, we can just use a variable to keep track the suffix product, or also we can use the suffix product array only. We can keep track the previous product array, or vice versa. I'm gonna just keep track the uh, keep track the suffix product array using a variable. So how initially we will have suffix product equals to one. Okay, and when you move to the left, we'll multiply this uh, suffix product with the last element. So the suffix product of four, uh, the, the four suffix product of four is one, right? So we have here one. The suffix product of three is four. So four times one equals to four. And for two, suffix product of two is three times four, twelve. And we'll be calculating something like this. Um, and then we'll find out our answer and we'll multiply at each corresponding position. So we'll and we'll calculate suffix product using this variable or we can use simply two array to solve this problem uh, and the answer will store in this array prefix or product array or we can create another array another separate array uh, but we can uh, use this previous product array to store the answer this is my intuition this is my intuition of this problem now let's code up this problem uh, before that let me analyze the time and space complexity um, we are creating an array of size n. The, so, so the time complexity should be bigger of 2n will traverse twice. So the time complexity would be bigger of 2n and that's, big, and that's equivalent to bigger of n. And the space complexity also O of n because we are creating uh, an array, prefix product array. Okay. So that the time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n. Now let's code up this problem. Okay, first let's create the prefix product array. So int uh, the prefix uh, prod prefix product equals to new in the side of this array is the side of the given array, right? The same side. Now we have to um, we have to insert at the first position. Uh, we have to insert um, one. That's because uh, that's because here we have uh, at the beginning the previous product the prefix product of one is uh, on the left we have nothing right so that's why uh, as the base case we use here one now let's uh, iterate from the index one while i is less than nums dot length and i plus plus right inside here uh, let's um, calculate the prefix product for each index, right? At index 1, we have to calculate the prefix product. So, how we can find out that? So, here we have 1, and initially we will have 1 in this array here, okay? So, this is our base case. Now, we are iterating from this position uh, from this this value to the end, right? So, here we have 2, and in here we have 1. So, the prefix product of 2 is uh, 1, right? So, we will add, we will multiply these two values, 1 and 1. So we'll have here one. Then let's move forward. Here we have three. If we multiply two and one, we will have here two, and two is the prefix product of three. Then here we will multiply this three and two. Uh, so we will have the prefix product six. So this is how we can calculate it. This is kind of a dynamic programming. We can say, uh, okay, let's let's calculate this. So we have to move one step back. So i minus one from our original array and one step back in our prefix product array. I hope you're understanding. Now let's create here, we can create another array to calculate the suffix product. Instead, we can just uh, we can we can just use a variable for suffix product. So int suffix product equals to one because at the beginning at the first time we have uh, we have nothing on the right, so as the base sketch we have one. 
as uh, and that's what we are uh, doing right here as well okay now here let's run a loop for int i equals to we're iterating from right to left right uh, since we are keep tracking the surface product so we have to move uh, right to left so int i equals to nums nums dot length minus one and while i is greater than equals to zero and i minus minus so let's calculate um, and we're, we will uh, store the product except self array in this array okay we'll update this array prefix product so let's use your prefix prod i equals to um, equals to we have to get the value from this uh, from the index of this from the corresponding index that is one so we have to find out the prefix the product itself cell for this element here right so we have the prefix product here and the suffix product in this variable suffix product so suffix product now we have to calculate suffix product we have to calculate in each step so we'll multiply suffix product with the value here the corresponding value in our given array right so we'll have the suffix uh, suffix product for our previous element and then we'll calculate a suffix product for this element and for this element and um, all the way to the um, to the starting point of this array so we'll just multiply it with numsi and I think it will it will work right and here I will uh, return the prefix product so in this array we're storing the product except self array and this is the solution to this problem I think it will work just fine so let's submit this code and let's see if it works if there is something wrong we will fix that okay it's working now let's submit it okay great it's working right so we solve this problem without using the division operator and we solve it in a linear time complexity this is the solution of this problem so we solve these problems by calculating the prefix product and the suffix product and then we multiply them to get the product except self. Now this is a bit of tricky questions but uh, I think it's um, it's uh, easy question anyway. Hope you're understanding it. Um, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for a future video or if you have any recommendations or if you want to see any um, specific uh, coding problem solutions then you can comment in this video um, I will try to record that video as well okay thanks for watching this video um, I will see you next time bye